Hello students, today we are going to learn about 1,2 hydride shift which is a part of carbocation rearrangements. In a chemical reaction, a less stable carbocation formed may rearrange itself to form more stable carbocation. So rearrangements involve sharing of bonded electrons between adjacent atoms to form more stable carbocation. Rearrangements are often found in carbocations if there is a possibility of formation of secondary carbocation from primary carbocation or a tertiary carbocation from secondary carbocation. Since tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation which in turn more stable than primary carbocation. Rearrangements in carbocation can be broadly classified into five different types. First, 1,2 hydride shift. Second, 1,2 methyl shift. Third, 1,2 phenyl shift. Fourth, ring expansion and ring contraction. Today, we are just going to learn about 1,2 hydride shift in details. 1,2 hydride shift basically, uh, what happens here? Hydride gets shifted to primary carbon. Hydride H minus gets shifted to the primary carbon. Let's take one example. This is a carbocation. We, we can see that this carbocation here, it is a primary carbocation because this carbon which is positively charged is linked to only one alkyl fragment or alkyl group or, or, or one carbon. So it is primary. <coughs> And we can see that there are two alpha hydrogens. Alpha hydrogen means the carbon which is next to positive, positively charged carbon is the alpha carbon. And this carbon has two hydrogens associated with it. So it has two alpha hydrogen. It is less stable. Now remember if a less stable carbocation is present, it will always try to rearrange itself to a more stable carbocation. So here what will happen, we can see that this second carbon has, one. Uh, this H is there, so this is let's say it is position number 1, position number 2. In this case we are not numbering as per the IUPC system of nomenclature, it is just for assigning the position of uh, one carbon with respect to the other carbon. So it is 1, this is adjacent carbon is 2. Now from Carbon number 1, if this hydride, hydride means hydrogen will take both the bonded electrons. If this gets transferred to the second carbon, then what will happen? It will generate a secondary carbocation. So now let's see what happens. So here, if 1,2 hydride shift takes place, what will happen? This CH, this uh, hydride will be getting transferred to the second carbon. And as a result, we will be getting a secondary carbocation. Now it will have 6 alpha hydrogens, 3 on either side of the carbons. And hence it is more stable. Moving ahead, example number 2, here we can see that it is primary carbocation. It has only one alpha hydrogen, it is less stable. So let's try to make it more stable. Now hydride from, this is one, this is two. Hydride will be shifted from carbon number one to carbon number two. So as a result, what will happen? This hydride is getting attached to this now, this carbon. The positive charge will vanish and the positive charge will appear on the middle carbon. Now it is a tertiary carbocation. Remember initially it was primary, now it is tertiary. Initially we had only one alpha hydrogen, now it has nine alpha hydrogens. So undoubtedly this is more stable than the previous structure and it is possible due to 1,2 hydride shift. Let's travel to the next slide. Yeah, so here also similarly this is secondary carbocation, four alpha hydrogens, it is less stable. So here you can um, Hydride shift will take place. See, remember, always try to uh, do the hydride shifting from that carbon where there is a possibility of making it more stable carbocation. So, this hydride will be shifted from here to this carbon. 
As a result, what will happen? We'll be getting a tertiary carbocation. Now it will have eight alpha hydrogens, more stability. So what we have seen so far, no, more the number of alpha hydrogens, more will be the stability of the carbocation. And that is due to hyperconjugation. Example number four, here, this is a secondary carbocation. It has three alpha hydrogens. This is alpha carbon. This is also alpha carbon, right? So this alpha carbon has two alpha hydrogens and this has one. So total we have three alpha hydrogens. It is less stable. Now, hydrate may be shifted from this alpha carbon also, this alpha carbon also. But always try to remember, uh, always remember that hydrate will be shifted from that carbon which has a tendency to make it more stable carbocation. So this hydrate will be shifted. As a result, we'll be getting a tertiary carbocation. It will now have seven alpha hydrogens. Two on this carbon, two on this carbon, and three on this carbon. So total seven, which is more stable. I hope you are getting. So let's proceed. Next example. Here, it is a tertiary carbocation. It has six alpha hydrogens. 3 plus 2 plus 1. So it has total 6 alpha hydrogen. It is less stable. So now you just transfer this hydride here from this carbon to the next carbon. So as a result, we will be generating this carbocation. And this is a tertiary carbocation. It has 4 alpha hydrogens. And one interesting effect is that now it will have resonance. So it will, uh, stability will increase dramatically because of resonance this resonance effect was not there in the previous carbocation undoubtedly this is more stable so coming uh, to the example number six we have see what will happen this is a carbocation if i transfer this hydride from here to here what will happen i'll be getting this but it is not possible hydride shift is not allowed here why it is due to it is due to one special effect, a special phenomenon that is called dancing resonance. So this is due to dancing resonance. Dancing resonance is nothing but the stability mechanism of carbocation, which is directly attached to a three-membered ring. And here what happens basically, this uh, three-membered ring is because of a very huge ring strain present. Because of the smaller size of the ring, there is a huge ring strain. There is a huge ring strain. So this bond will break. This bond will break. And after breaking, what will happen? This sigma bond, bonded electrons, will uh, will uh, overlap, will uh, resonance with the uh, p empty vacant p orbital of carbon. Will vacant p orbital of carbon. So both sides is possible, and that is nothing but called dancing resonance and dancing resonance if present increases the stability of the compound dramatically that is why it is not it, it will not exist in this form it is highly unstable due to huge ring strain and remember if we have a three membered ring once again i'm saying a three membered ring attached to a carbocation okay directly attached to a carbocation or carbon which is positively charged it will be highly stable due to dancing resonance next example so here students will make mistake uh, see if i uh, if you see these two structures very carefully here you can see that it is cyclopropyl this is not cyclopropane this is cyclopropene it has two CH2, right? Now, this is primary. This is also, this is, <clears throat> if hydride transfers takes place here, hydride shift takes place, it will generate a tertiary carbocation. Fine, no issues. Now, here we'll have one alpha hydrogen. We have only one alpha hydrogen. But here we'll have three alpha hydrogen. Well and good. But now you see that this is not aromatic, but this is aromatic. This compound is aromatic. It obeys Huckel's rule, that 4n plus 2 pi electron rule. So this uh, species is aromatic, which 
dramatically increases its stability so this species is more stable than this one but had it been cyclopropyl ring then because of dancing resonance this would have been more stable not the other one please take a note of this next example you see that it is a primary carbocation there are two alpha hydrogens and it is less stable right now let's do hydride shift here once hydride shift is carried out then what happens we get this carbocation and here it is now secondary carbocation it has three alpha hydrogens now there is the resonance also because of this resonance and more alpha hydrogens and it becomes more uh, secondary carbocation it is more stable example number nine here also same thing happens that uh, if hydride shift takes place what happens it changes from uh, it remains tertiary only there's no change in the type of carbon carbocation but here in the previous structure we had five now the number of alpha hydrogens increases here number of alpha hydrogen so where five two here two here one here right now if one two hydra shift takes place then here we'll get three here we'll get three here we'll get one so total seven alpha hydrogens are there more the number of alpha hydrogens more will be the stability of the carbocation great let's proceed to the next slide this is a primary carbocation it has two alpha hydrogens these two it is less stable now if hydride shift takes place then what will happen it will generate a still a primary carbocation but now it will have three alpha hydrogen it will have back bonding effect also back bonding since oxygen has two lone pair of electrons so what will happen this lone pair of electrons can be utilized um, to overlap with the empty p orbital of carbon so pi bonds will be formed so that is what is known as back bonding if, if there is a possibility of back bonding with the carbocation then what happens the stability increases next here we can see that it is a secondary carbocation we have four alpha hydrogens it is less stable but if i simply do hydride shift with any one of the hydrogens then i'll be getting this this is secondary four alpha hydrogen it is least stable why it is least stable it is because of the positive charge nearer to the more electronegative atom and there is no uh, <coughs> Uh, back bonding phenomenon taking place here so if i shift another hydride to this car carbocation what will happen i'll be generating this species and it is still primary it is primary uh, now it has two alpha hydrogen but because of the back bonding because of the back bonding stability increases dramatically now we'll see application of one two hydride shift uh, you'll be given such type of questions when you need to find out the major product of the reaction what is the major product of this reaction there are two possibilities chlorine may be attached to this carbon or this carbon now let's see the reaction mechanism in details so it is an example of electrophilic addition reaction first you carry out electromagnetic effect the loosely bound pi electrons may be shifted on either side of the carbon <clears throat> so i'll be generating uh, carbon positive charge and carbon negative charge then h plus will come from hcl it will be protonated and we'll be getting this carbocation which is secondary in nature treat with cl minus it will produce uh, it, it is a secondary carbocation it's less stable and this is major product sorry minor product why minor product because it has been formed from the less stable carbocation now if i carry out hydride shift here there's a possibility of hydride shift now what will happen i'll generate a tertiary carbocation more stable so if you treat with cl minus next step then what will happen it will give us this product which is major product so here we have to remember that more stable carbocation intermediate 
always gives the major product. So in the next class, we'll talk about the 1 to methyl shift and 1 to phenyl shift, like uh, ring expansion and ring contraction. So thank you so much.